just obviously impressed with the performance. Um, you know, just really attacked them in the paint. Obviously, the injuries, you know, that they've sustained during the year, you know, changed the total complexion of that team. That team, you know, uh, you know, with, with those two guys that they lost, it, we're not playing them today. They're probably a five seed or a six seed. So, um, you know, it, it, we were obviously, you know, thrilled with the performance and to get that separation, you know, while going three for 22 from three. You know, a handful of those were contested, but obviously we didn't shoot it great. Uh, and to still, you know, win by that margin, obviously it spoke to our, you know, our defense and obviously the 20 assists on 29 field goals. We'll take questions for the student athletes at this time. We'll start at the end here in row three in front of me. Tom Arian with AP Radio. Tristan, what does it mean to get to the next stage here, the Sweet 16 as the defending champs? I mean, it feels great. You know, we have um, a big picture that we want to go to, and we have to take it one step at a time. So, you know, uh, getting to the Sweet 16 is just another step to our main goal, and it, it feels good. We'll stay on this side. We're in row one. <clears throat> uh, Dom Amori, Hartford Current. Donovan, uh, it seems like the last four games are like since halftime of the Xavier game to now, uh, it seems like it's the best basketball that you've played, at least in, in, on the score sheet. Uh, how do you feel about that? Is this uh, the best basketball you've played at UConn? Yeah, I mean, I feel you know healthier and you know lighter than I've ever felt, and you know I just really got my confidence back, and you know just trying to fly around the court and do whatever my team needs me to do to win. We're gonna go to the other side of the room. We're row one on the aisle with Adam, and then we'll stay on row one. Yeah, uh, Cam. We talked yesterday. Obviously, you came to UConn with this goal in mind. What's it like for you to be in the Sweet 16 and kind of continue your dream and what are your goals going forward? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, this was the goal, obviously, to, to get from Brooklyn to Boston. Um, so we're looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, we have four more to go. So that's really what we're focused on, um, our next game, really. We'll stay in row one, same side. Shara Taylor, New York Beacon. Tristan and Donovan, you both talked about limiting free throws yesterday or Friday. Um, how did you feel you did today with that goal? Let's go with Tristan first, then Donovan. I would say we did pretty good. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how many free throws just shot in the first half, but you know, second half, it, um, I don't know. I, just, I feel like we did pretty good, and you know, they were running in there and, and throwing the ball up. So, um, I think we did great. Yeah, I mean, you know, the first half we did good, and you know, staying out of foul trouble. Um, you know, in the second half we had a little stretch, we were a little sloppy, and you know, they were getting to the line a little bit. But other than that, I feel like you know, we kept them off the foul line, and maybe we forced them to take tough shots. And we'll go further down row one in that same side. Uh, Gavin Key from the London Days for Donovan. Has your team defense really kind of stepped it up a notch in the tournament tournament play? Yeah, I mean, you know, I feel like we know we all know what's at stake. So you know, we all have we have to crank up, you know, our offense and defense. Um, you know, if you want to, you know, win games and try to, you know, reach our ultimate goal, you know, you got to play the best defense you possibly can. Any more questions for the student athletes? Okay, you guys are dismissed. Congratulations, we'll see you in Boston next weekend. Oh, he was right. He just didn't get any rebounds. Questions for Coach Hurley. We'll start on this side. We'll start in row four on the aisle with Roger. Roger Rubin from Newsday. <clears throat> What's up, Roger? Dan, uh, Big East, three teams, six and zero now. Um, you sort of thought at the end of the Big East Conference tournament that the idea of only three teams getting in was disrespectful, I think was your word. Um, what do you understand about the Big East Conference that maybe the people on the selection committee did not? I mean, just the, 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 the quality of the league. I mean, we, we, look, look what we've done in non-conference games. You know, the, you know, I don't know what our record is the, the last two years, non-conference, MTEs, NCAA tournament, and Seton Hall beat us by 15. And, they, you know, we've won eight straight in this tournament all by significant margins. And, uh, and they were good enough to beat us, and they were you know, good enough to beat Marquette. And, uh, you know, there should have been five or six Big East teams in this tournament. Um, you've seen how other leagues that got the bids that our league deserved um, has underperformed. And, uh, you know, but I, I think, uh, you know, listen, me, Shock, and, 
and Big Mac. You know, we got a we got a group chat going, and then the other coaches in our league. I saw Kim, um, you know, I saw Kim and Shaheen, you know, with, with the full league group chat that we got with the coaches. And uh, I know everyone's fired up to see us, uh, you know, continue to push and rep the league at a high level. And I know Val, you know, Val's excited too. Um, you know, obviously, the mistake was made. Uh, you know, it sucks. We're going to go on the other side here in row one. Go ahead. Uh, Joe Ruda, Hartford Current. Dan, how impressed were you with Steph's performance defensively on Boo Booey? He was two for 15 from the field. Obviously, he got in foul trouble late. but Yeah, that was a lot of that was a lot of, um, a lot of Steph, some Haas uh, in, in mixed in there, too. But yeah, Steph, Steph caused problems. Just the, you know, that just the size, the, the foot speed, the strength. Um, you know, and then we also put two on the ball for him a lot in the ball screen game. and. Uh, it, this for us was about you know, it was about Langborn, Barnheiser, and and Boo, and obviously it, it hurt them, um, you know, missing uh, shit the, the shooter kid Barry, you know, just not having another floor spacer out there for them, and then missing their starting center, uh, obviously hurt them. Um, but you know, Steph, uh, you know, Steph's the anti entitled five star freshman. He does nothing but uh, you know help his team win. We'll go same side, row five. Just raise your hand so Coach knows. Go ahead. Hi, Sarah with Zags Blog. Um, Patino's called you. <laughs> <laughs> um, called you a machine before. You've been a machine. Your team's like a well-oiled machine. You won by significant margins the past two games. Do you think that this significant margins is going to continue throughout the tournament? Do you think that you're going to continue winning by these large margins? I hope so. It's tough though. Um, but again, it, it, you, you make yourself bulletproof when you, you could see the preparation. You know, again, yes, you know, the other day it was Kamani Young with the scout. Today it was Luke Murray. I mean, these are head coach quality, some of the best coaches in the country, not, not some of the best assistant coaches in the country, some of the best coaches in the country, uh, period, that I have the luxury of having on my bench to prepare this team for these games. And we're bulletproof, you know, again, elite offense, elite defense. You know, didn't love the offensive rebounding today and didn't love the second half defensive rebounding. Um, you know, but again, 20 assists, seven turnovers. You know, one player had 14, 14, and eight. Point guard had 20 and 10. You know, it's, it's tough to lose when you have that level of quality. We'll go to the other side of the aisle, also in the back row. Go ahead. Just raise your hand so Coach knows. Go ahead. Herbert Delancey, BSTM. Coach, how great was it to have the fans, even though it wasn't at the Garden, like you all do when you pack the Garden for the Big East tournament, how great was it to have the UConn fans come down to the Barclays Center here in Brooklyn? Yeah, it was better tonight. We had more of them in there tonight. That felt good. Um, you know, they, they showed up, and uh, I know there are going to be a lot of them in Boston. I think it's going to it's going to double in Boston for us. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I guess you could add Brooklyn. Uh, to Store South now. I didn't know Brooklyn was a part of Store South, but I guess it extends from Manhattan to Brooklyn now. We'll go here in the front row. Jaden Daly, Daly Dosa Hoops, Dan. You've spoken about how underrated Tristan is all season. Two tournament games so far this weekend. He's a plus 58. What, <laughs> what about him gets overlooked in the stat sheets, and how much more has that helped your team over the last couple of years? Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, again, like I've said, the the – the NBA people, the right people, value the size, um, you know, the all-around game, the, the, you know, the range on the shot, the competitiveness, the, all the winner qualities, and you know, he's he's in the process right now of putting together a resume as a guard. Um, obviously, we got a lot of work to do here, but you're talking about a guy that's got, you know, he's got the Final Four, he's got the national championship, he's got the Big East tournament, he's got the regular season, he's got the first team All-American, uh, obviously. You know, he, he got he got Big East Player of the Year AP. Uh, he didn't get it from the coaches, um, but you know his his, his two year run is, I mean, just at UConn in that uniform right now, it, it, it's as good as anyone's had, and UConn I, I think has had good guards. We'll stay on this side on the aisle, row three. Jerry Beach from Field Level Media. You talked about a couple of the imperfections in the second half. Are those things you're going to focus on? I you know, mentioned the guys the next few days. You try to become more bulletproof for uh, the weekend in Boston. Yeah, I think so. I think you know, again, it's some of it too. Is like you're not going to win the game by 35 or 30 versus Northwestern uh, with with, uh, 
with, with Chris and his culture and his staff is one of the best. And um, I, I think they've lost, they lost one game by double figures this year. Uh, so you're talking about a team with, that's ultra competitive. Yeah, but we, you know, we, we uh, they made some plays and, and uh, you know, Langbourne, we lost him a couple times for threes on, you know, some situations there where I just think maybe we lost a little bit of focus and concentration, but I think it just had more to do with with the heart of the Northwestern program and the pride in, in, in them refusing to have the score uh, uh, be disrespectful to their program. I think we have time for one more. We'll go down here in row two. Coach David Gold, inside on you. Um, after Friday's game, Ryan Lane, we're playing a lot in the mid, mid range off the curls. Did you guys make an added emphasis to deny him and Brooks off the ball in the deep dribble handoffs to make sure he couldn't get to that mid range game? Well, we, we really just, th this game was about the three point line for us with those guys. Um, we went into it wanting to keep, you know, uh, you know Boo and Ryan and Brooks uh, to, to less than four, made threes between them, and we wanted to limit their attempts to seven. Uh, we felt like we, we, um, you know, they couldn't beat us in a, in, in, a, in a midi tough two game. You know, we knew Donovan would take the rim away, uh, and we really just wanted to chase those guys off the three-point line. We felt like, you know, the only way that they could beat us today is, you know, is if they made a lot of threes, those guys. If Boo was hitting, you know, sick, deep, Trey Young type of threes like he's made, uh, you know, throughout his career. So we just put, we, we blew everything up. Uh, got over everything. We're uber aggressive with our with our centers, uh, and we're really just trying to funnel the ball to their five men. Um, that was the game plan. Okay, thanks, coach. Thank you.